John Level. How are you now? I really wish that you and your family still in good condition, good health, and keep happy. Enjoy your activity and the grateful lives that God given to us. Now, in this beautiful morning, we would like to continue the lesson of math with me, Teacher Ermalita. But before that, I would like to ask you to pray with me. Be ready and let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we say thank you for, for your love and for your grace to all of us every day. Thank you for a beautiful life you have given to us. Thank you for many things you have done in our lives. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, in this beautiful morning, we would like to start the lesson of math. Please bless us. Please fulfill all of us with your Holy Spirit. And so we can use this time as well to add more knowledge, to add more understanding according to the topic of the lesson. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We surrender everything. We surrender our lives only into your hands. Please bless Everybody says, Amen. Okay, students, open up your textbook, page 25. Comparing and ordering decimals. You see these two ribbons, the red and the blue one? Do you know which ribbon is longer? Okay. When you see the picture, you will say that the blue one is the longer one. But when you see the number, do you know? Which one is the longer one? Okay, let's make sure. Okay, we have to make okay. sure. We're going to make sure which ribbon is the longer. Let's learn. Compare 0 0.35 and 0 0.4 using these number lines. Menggunakan garis bilangan. <clears throat> so you see that the blue ribbon is at 0 0.35 is here 0 0.4 the red ribbon is here so what do you say which one is the longer yes the red ribbon is the longer next other ways out of using the number lines you can also using the place value chart this like this place value chart okay do you remember last time uh, while Zoom meeting, I asked you to prepare this place value chart. Yes, we can also use this place value chart. Okay, later we will use this, but let's continue by reading this. We can also compare using the place value chart. You see, at ones, comma, tens, and hundreds. Okay, 0 0.4 and 0 0.35 here. You see, at once is zero and zero. It's equal. At tens, you see, which one is greater or smaller? Four or three? Yes. Four is greater than three. Yeah. Four tens. Okay. Four tens is greater than three tens. So, this is the greater one and this is the smaller one number one and number two yeah I put the number here so four tenths is greater than three tenths 0 0.4 is greater than 0 0.35 so the conclusion is the red ribbon is longer than the blue ribbon so one thing you have to remember when you do this when you comparing the numbers using the plus value chart, first thing you have to follow the uh, place value. Yeah, what should we compare first? Following the place value just now I explained to you, first you must see the ones place. After that, when it's equal, you move one step to the right, tens place. You can't go immediately jumping to hundreds, cannot. You must follow one by one. After one's place, you see tens place. You choose which one is the greater or the smaller. If only the numbers 
is equal or same you go to the next numbers at hundreds and so on we go through page six, uh, 26 page 26 okay number two we try one more uh, example using the number lines which is smaller 2.567 or 2.56 uh, 57 which is the smaller you see this number lines it moving from 2.56 2.565 fix in the middle and 2.57 Oke, okay. ini tepat di tengah ya. Berarti ini poin 5. Ya, 0,005. Ya, ini nilainya 0,005. Ini ya, 2,56 di sini 0,001. 0, 0,001. 0.002. 0.003. 0.004 and this 0.005 okay and so on and here 0.006 and here 0.007 so it fixed here 2.567 here and 0.008 0.009 0 0.57 So, which is smaller? Yes, this. Ya. Yeah. Dalam <coughs> garis bilangan in number lines, the more you go to the right, the bigger it is. Ya. Yeah. The more you go to the right, the bigger the number. The more you go to the left, the smaller the number so between these two number which one the right number yes 2.57 yang paling kanan 2,57 berarti ini yang paling besar yang paling kecil berarti 2,567 <coughs> ya oke ini dari number lines <coughs> <coughs> using place value chart using place value chart you can see the place this is ones place okay ones place tens place and hundreds place here hundreds place here six this hundreds place here seven which one greater this one greater this is smaller so six hundreds <coughs> six hundreds you put here 600 is smaller than 700. Benar ya? 6 itu lebih kecil daripada 7. <coughs> 0,06 lebih kecil daripada 0,07. So means that 2.567 is smaller than 2.57. Right, so <coughs> we want to try using this place value card. Okay, using this place value card, okay, I want to write down here <coughs> two point. Five, six, seven, and two point five seven, right? Which one is the smaller? <coughs> smaller. So by using this, <coughs> you see that the numbers. From ones, two and two equals right. Now move to the right at tenths place. Five and five 
equals so we move to hundreds place 6 and 7 which one is the smaller 6 <clears throat> so I put tick here that tells that 2.567 is the smaller right okay uh, let's compare these three numbers using the place value card uh, chart <clears throat> using this place value chart okay comparing these three numbers okay start from 3.6 3.6 3.06 and 3.066 3.06 and 6 yeah <clears throat> these three numbers Okay, let's compare it. Yeah, use the different numbers from ones. Yeah, we find arrange these numbers decreasing order. So from greater to the smaller. Yeah, from the greater to the smaller. So we found which one is the smaller or the greater. Okay, from ones. Okay, it's equals three. Okay, so if decreasing from the greater, so we find the greater one, the greatest. Tens place, 600, zero, zero. so 6 is the greater, right? So I put this as number 1. Move to the hundreds, 6, 6 blank, so which one is the greater? Can see, can see, yeah? You just see now this number and this number. So at thousands place six and zero. Which one is the greater? Six. So this is number two. And this is number three. So I got it. So you bring the answer with this. Can we see? Yes, the answer is equal. The answer is equal. I'm setting. Okay. The answer is number one is 3.6. Yes. Number two is 3.066. Yes. And number three is 3.06. Correct. Well done. Very easy. Number using 11, it. textbook page 29. What are the missing numbers in the pattern? Explain how you get your answer. Okay. To solve this kind of problems, okay, point A ya, kita kerjakan yang A dulu. To solve the, this kind of problems, first things, you have to see that is the number going increasing or decreasing order. Do you see the number is it increasing or decreasing order? You see, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1.2. So, I see that this is increasing order, right? Yes. After that, you see that if increasing order means that you add or you subtract the number. Yes, it's addition. Addition 0 numbers. 0.3 from 0 0.6. When you subtract 0 0.3 from 0 0.6, it is 0 0.3. So you add 0 0.3 to 0 0.3 equals to 0 0.6. 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 equals to 0 0.9. 0 0.9 plus 0 0.3 equals to 1.2. So 0 point, uh, 1.2 plus 0 0.3 equals to 1.5. Right? 1.5. And you add 0 0.3 to 1.5 equals to 1.8. Yes, very good. 1.8. Is it right? And so on. You can try to do this at home. You can also use this way using the place value chart. 
using the place value chart like this you write down here number two uh, yeah point B right you see is that increasing or decreasing order here 2.22 2.24 2.26 okay so I try to subtract 2.22 from 2.24 2.24 2 2.22 So subtract Yeah 4 minus 2 equals to 2 0 comma 0 So it is 0 0.02 0 0.02 So you add 2.22 plus 0 0.02 2.22 plus 0 0.02 equals 4 2 2 2.24 right so how if 2.26 plus 0 0.02 okay Okay, I will use the line okay. 2.26 plus 0.02 equals 6 plus 2 equals to 8 2 plus 0 equals to 2 2 plus 0 equals to 2 Bring down the comma here So it will be 2 2.28 2.28 okay. We continue to add 2.28 plus 0 0.02 equals plus 8 plus 2 equals to 10 Put here 1 plus 2 3 plus 0 3 Bring down the comma 2 plus 0 equals to 2 2.30 right it is 2.30 so i write here 2.30 okay okay dear students that's all for math lesson of today with me teacher ermalita hopefully this video can help you to have more understanding to get the points of the learnings and so you can do all the tasks given as well. If you found something difficulties or you didn't understand according to the topic, please don't be hesitate to call me back or to WhatsApp me by personal lines. Thank you. See you on the next video. Jesus Christ bless all of us. Bye.